Two undefeated world champions in their prime. So much in common, so much at stake. We just progress, Josh Taylor. Welcome to the Gloves Are Off. I feel I can do everything. Whatever I feel like doing in the ring, that's what I do. When you start boxing, people dream about this type of fight. I just can't wait. This is it, you know, this is what I live for. We're gonna bring the best to each other. I can do it all, so I just believe I'm better than them in every department. Guys, welcome. Looks like we've got two fighters at the top of the game. Is this boxing at his best? I think so, yeah. Um, I believe I'm the best. He believes he's the best. So, yeah, can't wait. What do you think, Regis? Yeah, same thing. I mean, it is. It's number one versus number two. You know, like, I mean, this, I always been saying this. This a, this, this like, a, for me, this a, um, like, lifetime type opportunity. You know, like, you got two undefeated fighters in their prime, uh, world champions, number one and number two. This is boxing at its best. Is, is this a true 50-50 or if I got it wrong? I don't think so. Josh, 50-50? Yeah, it could be 50-50, yeah. But, in your um, opinion? Yeah, it's 50-50 fight, but I believe I'm going to win. I believe that he's not got a chance of beating me. Um, I don't believe you've got a chance of beating me at range or up close. You've not got a chance, I don't think so, no. This is the final of the World Boxing Super <laughs> Series. Did you, either of you, expect to see each other at this stage? Did yeah. you expect to see yeah. them? Yeah, that's one thing I think we can both From agree on. Uh, he messaged me after one of my fights on social media, was it Instagram, mm -hmm. saying keep winning or something like that. And uh, I just turned around and said, you know, see you soon. We'll path across soon and here we are now. So, yeah, can't wait. Guaranteed, then? Yeah. You knew that from day one? Yeah. I always felt like we was going to fight each other. Was you looking forward to this? There's definitely some fire there with you. Oh, I can't wait. Um, I'd rather just get, go ahead and do it. Because um, I don't know if I can hold my tempo sometimes, but I'd rather just go and, and go and fight them now. But that can be a weakness, you know? You know, no, even, no. even no, no saying weakness. that. No weakness here. No weakness here. No weakness here. Now, I'm hearing behind the scenes, this wasn't the, the smoothest fight to make. Do you think no. this guy really wants to be here? Do you think he wants to be he here He didn't now? want to come here, I don't believe. I don't believe he wanted to come here. I definitely to come here. I don't believe he wanted to come here. If I'd sure had been another foot, I'd have been there straight away. No questions asked But coming over well, here. What have you heard? Trying to pull out because he wants to come over here. Or just all the stuff, all the management stuff, you know. All that carry on, behind the scenes way, uh, Lou de Bella trying to pull him out, doesn't want to come over here. So that's what I believe. He didn't want to come over here, but if it was in America, I'd be there straight away. No so questions asked. Welcome, why I'm here right now? No questions asked. Why the delay then? Why I'm here right now. I don't know how your contract went, but in my <clears> contract, <throat> I had some things that had to be tightened up. Now, I'm going to fight you, and I always knew I was going to fight him. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't about if I'm going to fight him. It was always about when I'm going to fight him. So you were talking about money, wasn't it? You got paid, didn't you? Of course. I got paid as well. Yeah, but I, so at no first... Me. No, no, at, that's no what I'm saying. I don't know what you had in your contract, but I had deadlines in my contract that were supposed to be met. And now, of course, they met him. I always knew I was going to fight you. I always okay. wanted to fight you. Right, it was just about it. when. So you weren't worried about sending the wrong message across when these... I wasn't moves worried about... ...spilt it out. No, I wasn't worried about what people thought and nothing like that. I always wanted to fight him. It was no way I was going to not take this opportunity. <clears throat> we fight for my title, we fight for his title, we fight for the ring belt, and we fight for the Muhammad Ali trophy. There's no way I'm going to, like, try to, they were saying I was going to try a chicken out and not fight him. No way. It's just you had to tighten my stuff up in my contract. That's all. Because and you should be thanking me. You know thanking why? You. Yeah, you should be thanking, thanking me because right. if it wasn't for me doing all this, look, mm -hmm. how fight, look how big the fight is now. The fight, the fight is here at the O2. So you're the superstar, bumming yourself up all the time, right. believing your own smoke, and that's your downfall. That's going to be your downfall. You got to see. Did it give you a lift, all this, what you'd heard? It didn't, didn't bother me at all. I just wanted to fight. I just want to fight. I want to fight him. He thinks he's the best. I think I'm the best, so I just want to fight him. And that's it. So now it's on, so that's all that matters to me. That's all that matters to me. Did you have to think long and hard about fighting him? <laughs> Did you have to think a long time and think, is there another avenue, is there another option, is there, do I have to fight this guy? No way. 
like I said, it's, all, it's too much on the line. That's the only person I want to fight. It's nobody else I want to fight in my career right now, except him. That's it. But that's the only person I want to fight. Circus of Hustle, you were never going to walk away from this fight. Never going to walk away from this fight. Now, of course, it's my money. Like I said, in my contract, I had some things in my contract that had to be tightened up. They got tightened up, bam, we here. Do you believe this? Does it matter whether I believe it or not? It's all now, so it's all, it's all in the past, so it doesn't matter we're fighting now, so that's it. You know what, one thing you've got to figure out, you know, especially here in the UK, the crowd can be intimidating. You found out in Scotland. Can you handle that? I think it's going to make me, to be honest. I mean, like I said, I don't know. You asked me after the fight, but how I'm feeling right now, I'm just feeling so confident. I'm just feeling so ready. I feel like it's going to make me. And, you know, I, that's why I came over here. So I came with, I always want to fight in the UK. People could believe me or not, but I always want to fight in the UK. And I look, like I said, look how, look how big the fight is now. In the O2 here, this is something that I wanted for my whole, this is something that like most people dream about. When you start boxing, people dream about this type of fight and I got it. And I mean, I just can't wait. I think it's be more pressure on him. He got all these people from Scotland coming, not maybe not all of them, but most of the people from Scotland coming over. The pressure's on him to win. I'm coming over here. I got, you know, I got my people, but I'm going out there and I'm going to perform. I'm going out there and have fun like I always do. I'm going out there and to perform. And that's it. I think the, the pressure, of course, I don't know, but the, I think the pressure is going to be on him. When you're fighting in front of your people, it's more pressure than when you're fighting away. That's that what true? I think. Nah. They're expecting a lot from you in the O2. Well, they're expecting a lot from him as well. So you know, you're you're relatively matter. the homeboy. Well, it could be, but I love fighting in front of my home fans. I love fighting in front of big crowds. Period. So it doesn't matter. It's no, it's not really a home fight. It's down in London. So, so this this is liable to bring the best out of you. Oh yeah, of course, of course, it's a massive fight. So of course it's going to bring the best out of me. Um, he's one of the best in the division. I'm one of the best in the division. So. We're going to bring the best to each other. It's a massive fight, so yeah, of course it is. Do you think this man can be intimidated? Yeah, I think he can be. Yeah, I think he can be. You think I'm intimidated right now? Not right now, no. But I think he can be intimidated. By what? Especially in the ring. Nah. I can't be intimidated. Mm. I can see right through your bravado. You can't I can see, see right through it. You can't I can see, see nothing. right through it. I can see it in your eyes. All right. You can't see nothing in my eyes. You see confidence in my eyes. That's all you see. Okay. Yeah, you gonna get it. Have you boys crossed paths before? Ever? I had a story that you uh, just messed about scuffling and wrestling with him just to see how he was, just to just to see if oh, he. Oh, after that, was in the casino. I put yeah, you in the headlock. Yeah. 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 I didn't know what to do. Ah, He's a come jiu -jitsu on, man. come He's on, a jiu -jitsu Josh, man. come on, Josh. Don't you start <laughs> no, that. No, I walked up, put him in a headlock, and says, yeah, I thought you were the jiu-jitsu man, and you were sort of like, well... But then I just... It was all, it. It was all jokes and games. games. It was fun like, games, yeah, all right. No, don't, don't say it was like it was just nothing you know. serious. You just know to that. let you know. Don't say it was like it was nothing serious. Just it was just know. all no, jokes and games was planned. We actually sat together at the same time, I'm sitting with him, talking to his girlfriend, his sister, and all, all his family, and yeah. all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, it was fun so games, but still just letting you know. Let me know what? Just letting you know, man. I'm ready to go at any time. Let me know what? You wasn't letting me know nothing. You was all playing at the time. Yeah, you was all yeah. friendly and okay. stuff. It wasn't none of that. Don't act like, don't say it was like a serious thing. I never said like it was, that. did I? You let did me I? know. What you was letting me know? Just letting you know I'm ready to how, go at any time. How friendly you are? You're a jiu-jitsu man. You, you was letting me know how friendly you are. All That's right. what you was letting me know? You know, ready to go at all times. Are you used to being on the front foot? Are you used to, are you used to intimidating your opponents? Are I you used to having their heads I never up cared about intimidating nobody. Never. I never cared about intimidating. It's, at the end of the day, this is all cool, but this is not going to win a fight. Like your yeah. eyes, you're looking at me and all that, and talking and making like mean faces. That don't, that don't win fights. I'm not making mean faces. No, sometimes you try. You try to I'm make all like faces. hard faces and all that. That don't win fights. All the talking, that doesn't win a fight. So for me, I never try to intimidate nobody. I, I just, I say what it is. I say what's on my mind. That's all. I don't try to, I'm not going to talk and try to intimidate you. No, that don't, for me, that don't matter. The only thing that matters is the fight. That's it. Nothing else. Josh, 
you, you, you tell us you're, you're better than this man in every department. Tell us about that. Explain that. I just think I'm better than him in every department. <clears throat> he knows that I think that. Better fighter, you know, better so boxer, better mover, better thinker, what? Everything, yeah. Better boxer, better fighter. Can do it all. Can go in the front foot, can go in the back foot. I can fight. I can do it all. So I just believe I'm better than him in every department. What do you think of what you just said? Better than you in every department? I think the same thing. Better boxer? I think, yes. Better fighter? Yes. Inside, outside, I feel like I can beat him in everything. Just like he said, so that's why I guess it's going to be interesting. Because, mm -hmm. I, I mean, the thing, all right, you got 15 fights. In all 15 fights, you look the same. All of them. I got 24 fights. In all, most of mine, all of them, I look different. I give you all different bums, looks. Complete Every bums. time. Complete Whatever. bums. You've not fought anybody that's trying to hit you back yet. Whatever. Hmm. Have, you, right. have you boxed anybody like him before? Yes. That kind of confidence? Yes. As far as like how I came up, yes, definitely. As far mm -hmm. as my amateur days and coming up against who I, who I didn't train with and stuff like that, yes. Who I didn't spar with, yes. World champions, a bunch of them. One day I almost got killed in a street fight. I was always a little man everywhere I went. I always find myself in fights. As usual, <laughs> with this show, we get a handshake. After the fight, you're still going to be a real good fighter, but you're not going to beat me. So what are you going to bring to the table? You know, the, the UK fans are now introduced to this young, fiery lion. Mm -hmm. What would you expect? Tell us what you're bringing. Mm -hmm. I bring me. I always, for me, it's, I never have a game plan going. That's the thing about me. I never have a game. I always just go do me. Whatever I feel like doing in the ring, that's what I do. So I know they, you, you can't know what I'm going to do because I don't even know what I'm going to do. I, for me, when I'm in training camp, I just get my mind and my body, everything just ready, physically ready, mentally ready, emotionally ready. And then in the fight, I just go do what I, whatever comes out. That's all. And it, it, I've been doing that every fight, all the time. I know I, I feel like I can do everything. What's your story? How did you get into boxing? What, what brought you here? I just grew up fighting on the street. I mean, I don't know how it, most people, I mean, I'm a student of the game, and most people grew up fighting. They grew up fighting on the street. I grew up street fighting. You drifted into the ring up. and went what? I was just, you know, real good at fighting. I played football, played basketball, I did everything, did karate and all that stuff. Um, but I played football in high school, and I was just whooping everybody. One day the coach saw me, he said, I think you don't have a, um, a future in football, but you might have one in boxing. I, I turned in my football equipment, and I went to the gym, and then it's, it's kind of history. Then, of course, I'm from New Orleans, so Hurricane Katrina hit. I had to move all around. Then after that, I went to, um, I finally moved back to Houston, and then I went to Savannah's Boxing Gym, and I was just training. Like I said, Holyfield and all of them was training with me, and that's kind of how I started. I heard you was inspired by the likes of Evander Holyfield. Yeah, holy. I mean, yeah. I, I got to the gym. It was Holyfield, like the Charlo twins, me and them. They did hundreds of rounds together. You know, um, like it was Lion Delaro, Juan Diaz was a three-time world champion at that time. Raul Marquez, um, Rigondeaux. Like I used to literally like get whooped every single day. I, Cause when I first started, I had to like spar with, like I said, like the the Charlo twins. They was like going to state and nationals and stuff like that. And I was just coming to the gym, no fights, and I had to spar with them. So they was just, you know, like, and like I said, we came up and I was just spawn with them and spawn with like a lot of real good fighters. And then in um in Texas, you fighting nothing but everything is tough. All fights are real tough. So. Tough, real tough Mexicans to get to the regional, state, nationals. You gotta fight. You gotta get through um, like real hard opponents, and that was that was like my upbringing. Where would you be without boxing? I don't know. Um, one thing I always did, like, <clears throat> I just always enjoyed my life. Like I love boxing. That's the thing. It's like I don't, I do it because I love it. That's for me. That's the main thing about boxing. I just do it because I love it. I'm really good at it, and I love the sport. I'm a, hist I'm a historian. I know all about the I know about the history. I go back all the way to, you know, the 1900s and you know, um, the late 1800s and stuff. You're like a student that. of the game. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I just love it. I just love the sport. It's just something I just, I just crave. I just, I did every sport. I played everything you can name, and boxing was something that like, I, I love to get better at. I love to practice. I love to be in a gym. 
just, you know, doing drills and, you know, that type of stuff. I just, I just love the sport more than anything else. I love it. A fighter's upbringing usually shapes him, the style of fight he becomes mentally, physically. Mm -hmm. uh, you spoke about fighting in the streets. Mm -hmm. Was it, was it literally, was it literally that bad before, before you stepped into the boxing gym? I mean, it, for me, like the fighting, it was, it, I'm, a, I, I'm not even gonna say it was like bad or nothing like that, it was just normal. That's just what we did, me and my friends and stuff. Like, I, I mean, one day I almost got killed in the street fight, you know, by like a grown man and stuff like that. That's not normal, my friend. <laughs> you know, that's just how it was. Josh, we know your boxing skills. What's your story behind that, before the boxing? So, very sport filled at school, did a lot of sports, uh, played football, did taekwondo, black belt taekwondo. Always in the, in the street with my mates, running about, playing football, all that sort of stuff. Tennis when it was on the TV and re cycling the bikes and all that sort of stuff. Again, the same thing, fighting all the time. Um, I was always a little man growing up, so everywhere I went, I always find myself in fights. Somebody try to pick on me, somebody try to start a fight with me, and I just end up fighting all the time. And uh, didn't start boxing until I was about, mm, about 15, 15 years old. 14, 15 years Why? old. Just because there was no there was no boxing facilities around where where I come from. Uh, the nearest one was about 10, 15 miles away. Um, so I used to come in from school, get straight on the bus, and travel into Edinburgh city centre uh, to to go to the boxing gym. Now, on school holidays, used to go to like sport sort of academy things and things like that. My mum was working in a sports centre. Uh, Meadow Bank Sports Centre in Edinburgh, and uh, I used to watch Alex Arthur on the telly, boxing all the time. And uh, my mum says he's training down the stairs, so I went down the stairs. She managed to get men to watch him training, and uh, <clears throat> I started whacking away at the bags and stuff. And I was just watching him training, and he come over. He's like, "You boxed before? Have you boxed before?" And I was like, "Nah, I had never a clue. I'd never boxed before in my life. I'd never seen a boxing ring." And um, you know, he says, you've definitely boxed before, because I was a black belt at Taekwondo, and I had sort of based the basic, <clears throat> uh, the stance and things like that. And then he says, do you know, come back tomorrow and do a bit of training and join in with me, and that's I sort of, that's how I started. And that's how I started, and then I started going to Meadowbank Boxing Gym on a Monday and Wednesday after school, when I was like 14, 15 years old, and uh, that's it, I'm here now. It seems like you're both natural fighters, natural athletes. That's probably why in the position you are today, number one and number two. It's a big time. It's a big, big moment. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? More than ready, yeah. <laughs> like I said, man, I'm, I started, you know, I started boxing late. I started when I was 17, and most people don't get this opportunity. And the whole, some people box 20, 30 years, and they don't get this type of opportunity. You know, to be fighting for all this unified ring, Muhammad Ali Trophy, in front of all these fans. Is is all excitement for me. That's the uh, that's the main thing for me. Is just all excitement. You know, I just this is like what a boxer should live for. This type of opportunity. Do you both understand that whenever this fight goes on to potential superstardom? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Who's the superstar here? He can have that if he wants. I don't bother about that. I don't bother about being called a superstar. Really? I just want to fight and um, be the best in the division which I believe I am, so I can forget about being a superstar. I just want to be the best. Are you the superstar? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think I'm the winner and the superstar. And I think after the fight, you're still going to be a real good fighter, <laughs> but you're not going to beat me. You're still <laughs> okay. going to be All right. You're still gonna be one of Scotland's finest, but you're not going to beat me. I can't see it. I just can't see. It. I'm not trying to be cocky or arrogant or nothing like that or a brash. It's exactly what yeah. I'm not. I'm just not. But I just can't see how you can possibly beat me. I just okay. I got too much. I got too much. I got too much to offer. Too much skill. He's talking to talk. Thinks he's a superstar already. No, I don't. I don't think I'm a superstar already. I was just having um, you know, talking with my team and stuff. I don't think I'm there. I think I got a lot of proving to do. See, that's the thing, y'all misinterpret what I say. I don't mm -hmm. think I'm a superstar right now. I think I got a lot of proving to do, but you the first notch, definitely. Good, look forward to it. Yeah, definitely. Gonna be a disappointed boy. Nah. He's talking to talk. 
Oh, you can talk the talk. Sounds like a champion, looks like a champion. Yeah, he's a champion, he's a world champion, Over of course he is. But we'll find out on October 26th. How would you beat this man? We'll find out. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Just need to see how the fight unfolds. But boxing, fighting, anyway it goes. Anyway defensive. it goes. Anyway it goes. I believe I can beat him in any department. So does it go the distance in your head? It could do. I'm training for the 12, hard 12 rounds. Training for a real hard 12 rounds. This is the way I always do. But I've got the potential to knock him out, and I think I can. So we'll see how it goes. Tell this man how you're going to beat him. Nobody's around. How would you beat him? I just do me. I don't. I, I don't know. I'm. It we fight like for the Ali PC. Trophy. You, we we fight for the Ali Trophy, but I can't predict nothing like Ali did, and nothing mm. like that. I can't. You know, I can't. I'm not gonna try to predict that I I knock him out and beat him. I just know. I I know. I just I just can't see how he can beat me. That's the main thing. I I feel like you can't same see. Thing. You can't see the the, the, good, the good work he does. The, the speed he's got. The body shots he drops in. The the movement he's got. He's got two inches high on you. You can't see how this guy can twist that into a win. No, I, I feel like it don't matter. The height, the reach, none of that stuff, I feel like it doesn't matter. You know, the power, I just feel like speed, none of that stuff. The heart, the chin, I just don't feel like none of that stuff is going to matter. At the end of the day, that's not what a fight is about. It's not about the tail of the tape. You can be taller, he's taller, duh. Definitely taller than me. He's longer than me, <clears throat> of course. I don't know, he, does he hit hard on me? We don't know. Nobody can't judge that. But even if he has, for me, even if he has everything, physical advantage, if he has all of that, I still can't see him beating me. Even if he hits harder, has a stronger chin, has better feet, better speed, I still cannot see how he can beat me. Is he stoppable? Of course he's stoppable. Yeah. Body, head, how? I, I, believe, I believe if I hit him correct, he's going to go down. Don't ask me how I'm going to do it, I just know I'm going to win. You know what, boys, as usual, with this show, we get a handshake. An intense situation, two young lions ready to go out. We're going to get a handshake. No, she just All the best. Yeah. Good luck, boys. <laughs>